Then, I mean, you can see we moved in. We painted the shutters. Mobile home started already. We just put new stairs in. You take pride. We come out here. I actually have a dog. My dog comes out here. Mine's like the best yard. <laughs> you come out here. Out here, Mr. Deep, actually, when I moved in, you can look in this lot that was broke down mobile homes. Like I said, he's owned it for, I think, less than a month. He cleaned this up, which I spoke to him once, and it was clean the next day. He's allowed, this is, you know, I never had a place. The last mobile home park I lived in didn't have a backyard. I really didn't, and that's hard with a 13-year-old daughter. Never had a backyard. She didn't have anywhere to ride a bike. The only thing I had was garbage in my yard, broke down vehicles in my yard. Now I have a yard. I had 42 separate violations in my home. Yeah. Such as? Carbon monoxide poison and three-foot holes in my floor, mold growing down my walls. My walls leaked water on the inside of the home. Black mold just coming in my house. So I take care of my sick mother. And this has been a better move for the last mobile home park. Her health became at risk. Like I said, there was mold dripping down my walls. My mother's got emphysema. I walk in my bedroom floor at the old mobile home park and fall right through my floor. And the landlord told me because I'm too heavy. I weigh 110 pounds. <laughs> there was 70 bags of garbage outside my house. I mean, I would get mice, rats, carpenter ants, this big that bit. It was awful. I'd open my window and 10, 20 carpenter ants would just fall down out the window. That's crazy. And I paid more to rent that place than I did for my home that I bought. I paid $650 a month for a two-bedroom mobile home. A lot of mobile homes, I think, have the idea that that's the way you're supposed to live. It's not fair. I, myself, I have a teenage daughter. There's a lot of stigmatas about mobile home parks, how the kids are not well-disciplined, not well-behaved. That's not true. Because they live in a mobile home park, they shouldn't be judged. When she's a sweet girl, never been in trouble, mm -hmm. nothing. But I guess some of the kids aren't so good. It's hard sometimes living so close to somebody else. You know, I've never been able to have a garden. I love flowers. Mr. Deep has now allowed me to plant a garden with flowers to make it nice. You know, part of the point of buying my own home is to make it nice to live here. And he's allowed me to do that. If he's going to take pride, I'm going to take pride. I think it's a 50-50 thing between the tenants and the owner. We watch each other's houses. You know, we actually have cookouts together. There is a community here. There is. It's a, like it's a little town. So mobile home parks are a good thing. They're not negative like everyone thinks. They're really not. I was kind of nervous about moving here. I'm not nervous anymore. Everybody complains about trailer parks, but when they had the Green Mountain Racetrack and a tannery going, people needed housing, and I think that's why these parks developed, you know, for housing for the employees. And, and now some of the people think it's an eyesore and they shouldn't have parks. And But there's a lot of low-income people here, a lot of uh, grandfathers, parents, retired people, and uh, sometimes that's all they can afford. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd rather see them in a trailer than I would sleeping in a car or side the road or anything, you know. But that's my feeling on it. Back to the park. How long have you lived here? Uh, close to 15 years. Yeah, it's come a long ways. When we first got out, everybody was stealing things, and you know, it does need some cleanup. You know, people get have to, uh, you know, clean up around, and that's what we're trying to do. But it's come a long ways. We're not in the sewer no more. The septic was really bad in the system. I mean, it's great. It's working fine, I think. You know, it does have some leaks and some flaws in it. You know, I think the size of it between the both parks, that pumping station really needs it. It's pumping all the time. Because on an average... My name is Tommy Holland. I've been here going on 10 years. And, and the name of this park? It's Royal Pine Villa. Mobile home park. Mm -hmm. And there, there's three parts to this park with trailer, all trailers in them. How many trailers all told? 
over 50. I'm not sure exactly how many. Oh, I love it down here. Nice and peaceful and quiet. Get along good with all the neighbors. Right now we got a few empty trailers, but we're working fixing them all up. We're yanking out a bunch of old bad ones. You know, we hear uh, reports about poor conditions in Alta Gardens, for one, with flooding and uh, Green Mountain Mobile Home Park has seen conditions like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah well, we, we have a problem here right now with water, but it's because they just got through with the sewer, and they got to come back, as you probably noticed when you drove in, the potholes all in the road. Yes. They got to come back and grade the whole road down because it's the, them potholes weren't here when they came into work. Okay. And I guess they're over there now, just get ready to start probably next week and fixing the road up. But as far as the park itself goes, it's, everything's all right in here, no mm -hmm. problem. You've got plenty of yard, you can have little garden plots if you want to. Yep, because we're, see like, what we're doing is all the trailers that are empty that aren't fixable, is we're tearing them apart and then yanking the frames right out of here, yanking the whole trailer out of here basically. We already got one, two, three, Four. We already got four empty lots in this part of the park where we've yanked trailers out and we got three more trailers to go. So will you replace the trailers with new ones or no. you rely on no. tenants to do that? He's gonna, he's gonna put, I guess he's going to put uh, plats in. Now, you know, I guess he's got to put slabs in, I guess, before they can move a trailer in now. But he's going to put slabs in the empty lots and, and just wet the lot. Is that a change, the slabs or the... Uh, do you have slabs here now? No, they're all on the ground sitting on blocks. But so I this guess, is I guess I guess the it's a a town thing now that before you put a trailer in, you got to put it on a slab. So See? that's an improvement. Yeah, because basically, you know, when you get a lot of rain, they, those blocks sink down in the ground. You know, when the ground gets soft, and then the trailers are uneven, and the doors won't close, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's a good idea anyway to put them on a slab before you move any in. And they're all piped with town sewer. They just did that last year. So you, things are looking up here? Yep. Looking real good. So I say we got town sewer now. We don't have any problem with water because he's got three different pump stations to, for the park. <coughs> and you're employed by the landlord? No. No. I just I just work for him, you know, whenever I feel like it. Mm -hmm. If he's got a, he's got something he wants done, he just tells me whenever do whatever you want, work how many hours you want and whatnot. He pays me, but I mean that it's not stead, nothing steady. Okay. You know. And the landlord's name is Marcin Roy. Okay. Yeah. Very good. And he lives uh, up in the other part of the park, way up at the end of the road. So he lives in the he park. He lives in the park too. Yeah. Well, he lives in a house, but mm -hmm. it's it's part of the park. But yeah, I guess he owns quite a bit of land. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd be glad when them guys get back here and fix the road, because <laughs> it's got a bad grade to it, and all the water runs on the lawns now in parking lots where it didn't before.